What's up, everybody? I'm Chase Reed, the Credit Bag Reviewer. Today, we are looking at the Hide Away, Hide Out, the Hide Out Pack from Everyman. Which men? All the men. It's the Everyman Hide Out Pack. I think Hide Out because you can hide a lot of stuff in it. I'm going to tell you about how it's great for. It's well, I'm going to tell you all about this bag. Now, obviously, it's got something interesting going on here with like a three panel design. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Like, is that sort of lame to use? It says it's made with some very good materials. We're going to talk about that. And honestly, we're just going to talk about like, because there's a lot of outside pockets like bam, 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 and inside organization. I'm going to show you all of those. But first, here's my gist on this bag. First of all, when it's packed full or when it's just carrying a few things. Like right now, it's just carrying a few things, kind of all in, in, in pockets. Like, I think the look is kind of good. Just for size here, I am 5'10", about 190 pounds. Can you hear me? Hello! And I think ultimately the pack has a very kind of like, I don't know, it feels like outdoors, urban, street, like not like like tactical, but not like so tactical. It's a kind of broy bag. It's sort of like it'd be it'd look kind of nice at a festival or something like that. Or it would look great uh, like it. You're working at your job in a startup, or going into a hike in the woods, or going to do mushrooms with your friends in the in like Joshua Tree. Okay, so my first thing is is actually I have found personally, and I, you, you might be going like, actually I think it looks ridiculous. It looks like a little bit like a, a something that people would ridicule. You might think so. I on the other hand, and I think a lot of us out there are like, it's a kind of a good looking bag. It's like when we're getting a bag, we're going for looks a lot of the time. We don't want it to say too much or too little. I mean, some of you dads out there, I know who you are. I'm like you too. Some of your dads are like, dude, I don't give a fuck what it looks like, dude. I just need a place for all my things. And as far as bags go in looks, it looks good. And it also has a lot of places for your things, right? So that's my first point. Number two, the materials are solid, okay? We have this uh, ballistic nylon, same thing that they're making the air bags out of. Now, this is a material that uh, a lot of bag companies are going like, Dude, we're making it with the heaviest duty, hardest core stuff. And it is. I think it's a very strong material. However, there's something about it that must be more affordable than other materials because a lot of these bags that are in a price point that is affordable-ish are, are making bags with that material. So it feels like it is a strong material for the cost, which is making this material feel a little almost cheap to me, right? So I'm jaded because I get to touch a lot of bags uh, and I get to see what the market's doing in terms of like, what are the bag makers using to make their bags? This is feels like material and quality feels very the same as like the air bags, which I would say are the affordable good bags. Down here, there's a PVC coated uh, like 800D nylon, which I do not like the feel of this, uh, personally. I, but I'm like, dude, I'm at a stage of my life where it's like, dude, I want to get the one bag that I'm going to use for a very long time. Because of that, I am totally and utterly willing to spend a little more to get materials that feel better to me because the bag will last longer if the bag will last longer. If the materials feel good and it doesn't last longer, that's that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so this doesn't feel that great to me. I think partly because of the single stitching right here, maybe the way that it's pulled in, there could be ways to make this feel better. Now, I am getting persnickety about this because a lot of the people who watch this channel, Rodney, are persnickety as well. Uh, and also because I'm just falling in love with materials and with design and with the way that we can... I, it's, I'm challenged. And you get to benefit from my, ch from my challenge, right? Because I'm saying you'll get this, you'll be like, okay, I know what he's talking about now. It's not the most, it's not the best quality feeling thing. However, I was with another product designer recently and he was like, actually, I like the feel of that. To him, it felt more quality than it did to me. Your mileage may vary on that one. I'll tell you one place where you won't feel the quality on this bag are these straps. Now, these straps are sort of like, they feel like they were put together by people who were learning how to make a bag, which I think in a lot of ways is what this bag, the wandered bag, the nomadic bag, a lot of these Kickstarter bags are people, almost all dudes, who are fine, who are like wanting to create a bag that they want. And so as they go, they're kind of creating 
their own way of doing a bag. The way that they put the foam in here, it's a light foam. It is very scrunchy and easy to scrunch. And I go, I it's again, another thing that's, I'm challenged. It feels just cheap. It totally feels cheap. It looks kind of cheap when it's just like bundling up like this. But at the same time, I like just gripping it and ripping it on. I like that's a little bit zero bullshit. I like that it's like, I don't know, it's kind of, it's sort of, you guys ready for this? Some of you are waiting for it. It's sort of honest. There's something, I can't tell if it's just literally like, like, no, we just literally didn't have time to think about it. Or if they were like, no, we tried thousands and thousands of straps and there was something we liked about this one. So I will say that you will feel the cheapness of this, but you may not feel, and perhaps you will though, the sense of like, I actually kind of like, I kind of like the, the simplicity of it. Okay, so this is my second point. The materials are solid. Uh, the zippers, YKK big teeth zippers, which I always like big teeth zippers. Um, aesthetically, I like them. I like them in use because I can with one hand get them a lot easier than a finer tooth zipper. The materials they're choosing are solid on paper. There are things that feel cheap and sort of uh, almost adolescent about this bag, I'll say. And I say that like with love for these designers because I, I think they've done a, a really interesting thing here. Uh, I think a lot of you would love to use this bag as your daily carry bag and as your minimal travel bag. One other material thing before I move on to the next point is these handles that are here, you really feel the cheapness of these handles. This is just like, come on, uh, every man. I, this is, I am actually calling you out on this. I want a strap. I want a handle that makes me say, oh shit, this is the everyman handle. Now, this bag, like I've said, is very, is affordable, and so it's just one of those things that's like, dude, just throw a fucking handle on there and don't bitch about it. You will be able to use it as a handle. You won't be able to find it easily when you're reaching down and like watching the video of Jordan Peterson going wild on something, and you're reaching down trying to grab something. Uh, you will miss this handle. You will miss this handle on the side. They're not easy to grab and find. But when you do finally get them, uh, especially because on the front here, there's like a hand, there's like a zipper and a handful of stuff. And when you're coming at it from this way, you're like looking for it and then you get it. Anyways, the point being total easy upgrade right here that makes me, I think bag companies need to be thinking of their handles as their fucking signature on their bag because it is where my hand holds all the time. And it's literally the bag saying, hello, I'm there. More material stuff, the, uh, the, the leather that they're using here is like very cheap leather, um, but it feels, I, mean, I, I don't know, maybe it is, but it feels it feels cheap, but it's kind of nice. It's like leather. I wish, guys, drop, drop the leather. Go with like the GORUCK zipper pull, the uh, the Evergoods zipper pull. Uh, similar aesthetic, but we don't need this big. Like I find if you, any of you have used GORUCK bags know that like that zipper pull is just like, it's great to use. We don't need leather that we don't need. We can go for something synthetic on this if it if it means it's cheaper and and more sustainable. Which by the way, bag companies, we want sustainable and we want a story about our materials. We don't want just things thrown in there. All right, I'm 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 actively educating all of all of us to like, dude, your hands know and when you get your hands, when you get your hands to like feel the feeling of goodness in a product that was designed for you to carry the things you have to carry through life, it changes literally every interaction you have with that artifact. Okay, so my second point here is just like solid materials, some of them feel cheap. Now, lots of pockets on this bag, lots of what I call first order access, which I think is probably, uh, probably what it's actually called. But um, for instance, you have a zipper up here at the top, bam. First order access, you don't have to get into the bag to get into that. Another quick access pocket back here, bam. You don't have to get into the bag to get into that. It's right on the outside. There is another pocket back here, a little hidden hideaway, uh, like passport type pocket. Nice. Laptop pocket on the outside of the bag, as well as multiple organization on the inside. I will show you all that in a minute, uh, but the point being right now, there's a solid amount of organization, both internal and external on this bag, and that is a, a real nice for a lot of us. Next point, this sucker is a real contender for minimal travel for a lot of us because what I'm looking for all the time in a minimal travel bag, by the way, minimal travel means like you're traveling with one bag and you have all the stuff that you need in it, obviously, and 
this is the kicker. You can use it as a daily carry bag when you get to your destination. This is hard to do in a bag, to have enough space and not be so big and bulky when I get to my destination. But like I said, this has almost got nothing in it except for a few of my like just tech daily needs, my laptop, spare hard drive, laptop charger, my always need you, never wanna see you pouch, like handfuls of things, Bluetooth headphones. And it's still like, it keeps its form Right, it keeps its form pretty well. It looks kind of good as a, as a daily carry. Now I'm gonna show you when I, I'm gonna pack it with a little packing cube if I remember to do so and show you how you can get like quite a bit of stuff in here. So that's that point that just daily carry and minimal travel, pretty nice. Then finally, we're talking about an affordable bag. All right, now to some of you, this is not gonna be affordable. Some of you students are like, are you kidding me? This isn't affordable. It's like sub 200, it's like 180 bucks or something right now. But $180 for this much consideration and thoughtfulness and, and, and the amount of organization, the decency of the material, the solidness of the material, even though some of it feels cheap, the form factor, the design, the aesthetic, the way that it looks, the signals that it gives to people around you when you're using this bag, as well as the fact that it can carry lots of stuff or look good in a little bit. You see, you're getting a lot for that money. You're getting a lot, a lot, a lot for that money. That's why I'm saying it's totally an affordable bag. Even to those of you who are thinking about getting like a $60 or $40 Walmart bag when you just walk into Walmart or Sam's Club or Costco. Some of those things are made great and gonna last you a long time. They're all gonna look like you bought a bag at Walmart, which, you know, no disrespect, but I'm in the world of the, the Metro and the Subway and the creative entrepreneur. And honestly, I love having things that I like their ethos. I like what this product believes about how we move through the world. To some of you, that sounds lame, but to me, I, th I like a product that really honestly signals what I'm about. And I'm about authenticity. I'm about solidness of materials and, and like real materials. I'm about being able to go into the mountains and do mushrooms with my friends, as well as be in the cafe and make money on the internet because this is what farming's like now. Okay, so that's my gist on this bag. Solid materials, great aesthetic, lots of organization, affordable-ish. I think this is a very solid bag, especially if you've been looking for a bag to do daily carry as well as minimal travel. Now, I've already showed you there's a little quick access up here. There's a bigger quick access up here, which is nice. A uh, little more size to it, okay? This is cool. You could fit your Bluetooth, like if you have big Bluetooth headphones, you could fit those in here. You could fit, a an empty bag of trail mix. That fits really well. Empty trail mix bags, um, you know, a lot of us have that that need to just like, I just need a, something that used to have trail mix. Fits right in, look at that. Bam, goes right in, watch, does it zip? Does it zip? Yes, it does. By the way, right there, you just saw me sort of fiddle a little bit trying to get this zipper thing, because there's a, a, there's a flipper on top of this guy. It makes it sort of hard to be getting in and out of sometimes, to find the zipper and to grab the zipper and not that thing, because it is sewn down on both edges, right? So when I try to open it, I guess maybe don't open it all the way, that way you can always find it in the middle um, and, and close it back up. Then, like I said, smaller quick access here and hidden passport quick access here. I mean, it's literally the size of a passport. Then, laptop compartment, which folds all the way down so the TSA can tell you verbally to pull it out of your bag. Sir, get your laptop in the bucket. But it's TSA approved, sir the bucket. This is kind of nice and kind of, uh, I'm kind of on the fence about it. So this is a wool felt. I like that they went with this this kind of material. It does feel, I don't know, there's something, there's something, I bet it, I, my curiosity is, what's it like when it breaks in? That's something to think about. I always love going with natural materials, sustainable natural materials like wool, wood. Wood's hard to use in a bag. I've got my 15 inch laptop in here. My old MacBook Pro fits perfectly. You do have a big Velcro thing in case you need it. This is a big ass 15 inch, the old school MacBook Pros. And so, and I've still got a little wiggle room in here. So larger laptops probably work. <laughs> Not Alienware, like <laughs> cup holder laptops, right? Just, you know, 15 inchers, even if they're thicker, like a Dell who just can't figure out how to make smaller laptops. I don't know that to be the case. I just haven't, I've been a Mac guy for like 15 years or something like that. I've always loved the aesthetic. They're probably like, yeah, why would you design a computer that looked literally anything different than that? And to see people still pulling out like HPs that are like, my old first gateway laptop that has like speakers that fold out of it. I get it, gaming. 
I get it. You then have another felt thing here where you've got, uh, where I've been throwing my MacBook charger and my uh, video, my spare hard drive, the Glyph Raid, fastest freaking USB-C amazing little hard drive. Put a link to that in the show notes below in the description. I've been putting those things right there because then when I get to the coffee shop, I just open this one thing and I only open the top of it, okay? Because then I have everything I need, my charger and my my hard drive. I, typically already have my headphones on. Okay, so that is everything on the bag besides crappy handles, crappy handles that are fine. They're fine, they're crappy though. And then you've got these compression straps over here which are nice for throwing a jacket in there, stuff like that. There's some hooks. There's a little hook here with the tiniest little, tiniest little E for Everyman. And honestly, it got sewn in a little too far. I can't really see it very much, Everyman. You could go a little bit further with that. I think that would, could make us have a, a, a like, could make it feel a little nicer. I like, I like that touch. Um, I just didn't notice it till right now. Okay, so now inside the bag. Now, look at this. You gotta go two on the outside, okay? One down the middle, then she opens right up. Now guys, anytime you're working with something like this, something floral, something delicate, gentle, that opens for you like this, all right? I want you to be delicate. This is not a ground and pound sort of situation. This is delicate. This is like, treat her like a queen. Inside here, we do have some, uh, you can see this like, this sort of like, it's like shiny, uh, shiny with a like a meshy thing on there. You have zipper, this is on both sides, okay? You have zippers that go through, this is what I mean, it's like on this flap and this flap, exactly the same. You have this internal pocket that goes down the outside of the bag where I've thrown my always need you, never wanna see you. I always get people asking about this, so I'm gonna have to mention it in every damn video. Dayfarer Designs, I'll put a link in the description in YouTube. It's a nice little pouch that I keep all sorts of things that I might need sometimes, you know, as well as little adapters and things that I need fairly often and uh, any other sort of tech stuff. A little note that I wrote to myself several years ago that I like to keep around, yeah it matters to me. Okay, that all folds up and I've got it wherever I need it. I just throw it into the side of this bag and it's a good place for it. Okay, it's really hard to show you this. You kind of have to be inside the bag, but it does the same thing on this side, all right? Zipper on the top, zipper on the side, and now you've got access to that pocket from either direction, whichever you prefer. Ultimately, I have found that to be sort of surprisingly nice to use. I mean, when do you ever see a bag with a zipper that goes down the middle like this that opens up the damn thing, you know? I haven't found it to be that annoying. Cause most of the time, like I said, I'm just getting into my laptop compartment. And then when I've traveled with this thing, I've, I've used this, opened it up to pack it up and then opened it up to unpack it and get my clothes out and stuff like that. But uh, stay zipped up damn near most of the time. Because when it's zipped up like this, I can still access, and this is going to be difficult to, uh, to see, so I may might as well open it up a little bit more. I can still access some of the, the this stuff, all of this stuff, okay? So there's an organiz organization piece, like panel right here with things that are like these two. These two right here about the size of a MacBook charger, which is great. Thank you, everyman. I like that size. That's a good size for things. Then there's like a little pen thing down the middle, another one there. There's a zipper right up at the top, zippered pocket that goes down about that far, about the size of my journal, which I normally kept it right in here, because then I could just reach in, grab it right there. Got my little notebook from Baron Fig. And then, place for my papers. My business papers, man. Okay, just a little document guy right there that goes all the way down. I have to say, I I'm I like this material that they used here. They did, they have double layer, they folded it over. They made some interesting decisions here. They didn't just use the standard nylon sort of thing. Uh, and I appreciate that. Also, clipper. All right, now other bags to compare this to. This is the Mission Workshops Hrake bag, okay? Loved using this bag, even though I thought at first it looked absolutely Ridiculous. What you'll notice about this bag immediately when you use it is the quality of the materials, the number of access to that first order access to the number of pockets you have, the size and capacity you have. Very similar capacity of this bag uh, to the 
uh, every man. Love that bag. You pay a little more for it because you're literally paying for more of an heirloom piece, the kind of thing like literally your grandkids are gonna find in a closet somewhere. Okay, the Wandered Provoke pack or Perverky. Okay, we have uh, lots of external access or first order access here, lots of tech organization and lots of capacity. Same kind of thing as the Everyman, just a different look, right? Love this bag, very, very, people who buy this bag love this bag as well. Uh, so, you know, if you don't know about this one, research this one as well. I have links to all of these below in the description. Another bag, the Mountain Panel Loader from Evergoods, Evergoods, the hideaway hideout pack from Everyman, Evergoods. Better material for me, I love this material. I love the external organization they have on this. Um, I love the hip packs that are, hip straps that are integrated. If you're doing more of like a, uh, if you're doing more hiking, like this is more in your wheelhouse. If you're okay with a more mountainy look, even though this is very Mission Impossible eight as well. This one I love, link to the description below. And finally, no Chase Reeves review would be complete without mentioning the Synapse 25 from Tom Ben. Tons of first order access, some of the best I've ever experienced. Tons of capacity for both travel and daily carry. The kind of materials that feel like they're literally, it's, lit it's gonna be something in the attic that your grandkids find after you've passed away and fight over it. Less, less hip of a look, but just very, very utterly functional as a bag. One of my favorites and a classic. So that is the Hide Out Pack from Everyman. A very solid offering as their first bag coming on the market. Great job, Everyman, with putting this thing together. Um, I hope that uh, if you found this, if you found this video useful, sometimes with these companies, I get a commission when you buy a no cost to you the, those companies will give me a couple bucks back in return. And that, uh, that is, that makes my day. So if you like this and found this review to be helpful for you and your purchasing decision, please use my link below. As I always say, uh, be your self and make good choices and honestly what you carry on your back and in your life every day both physically and metaphysically matters a great deal okay if you feel like you need a good bag get one that's going to last you get one that's made from good materials with solid thoughtful designers at its core who know and think about what we have to do as humans going through the world. I think the Everyman is a great option for that, as are so many of the bags that I mentioned. And before I go, go to bagworks.co and get on the email list, because I'm doing giveaways of bags! Ugh, a little lightheaded there, but the point being, if you get on the email list, you will <laughs> likely you'll learn you'll get a free bag at some point, probably if you're on there for long enough, because the email list isn't that big, and I'm trying to grow it. So get on there. I'm gonna do giveaways with uh, all you see. Uh, see all these back uh, there. See all that? That's all bags that are just waiting to be given away. Bagworks.co. Get on the email list. They will never be spam. Okay, there will never be. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Bagworks.co. JaceReeves.net. Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, where he's I guess wanting so. us to hmm. let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.